Well, any Calgary parent with kids in sports knows how much of a crunch there is for places to play. Relief could soon, though, be coming to the town of Chestermere and a private developer. They've got big plans for North America's largest air-supported dome for a wide range of sports. As Mia Sosiak reports, there are a lot of groups lining up to score some new space. Only birds play here on the northeast edge of Chestermere, but the land will soon be home to a 10-story, 30-acre indoor field of dreams. It's a um, never been seen before in Canada facility, the sheer size of it. The town of Chestermere is leasing this land out to a group of private investors who are building the $9 million facility. It broadens what we can offer our community for uh, recreation. It also broadens, uh, of course, for the region, and that means we get the economic um, ups swing of that. The Armour Dome will house four baseball diamonds, four soccer pitches, a CFL-sized football field that converts to a FIFA soccer pitch, and an indoor driving range. A sports bar, restaurant, and other amenities are also included. The massive sportsplex is expected to create $15 million a year in new business for the bedroom community when combined with adjacent new hotels and restaurants. The town will also share in the profits. Calgary Minor Soccer is excited to see what the facility can offer it. Indoor playing space in Calgary books up solid with games. There's very, very limited amount of practice available. Chestermere opens up a whole new avenue that practices could happen there, if it's affordable. Meantime, amateur sports schools are eager to book indoor playing time year-round in Chestermere for their young players. The more repetitions that they get, the more access they get to high-level coaching, high-level facilities, we're going to produce better athletes. The development group for the Armour Dome is still hunting for investors and sponsors. If all goes well, it could open by summer 2010. In Chestermere, Mia Sosiak, Global News. Several sports groups and leagues have already contacted the owners, uh, including a baseball training camp from outside Canada. Very cool. Yeah.